Hi there, I'm Chris Litchfield, application engineer here at Protolabs. Every day we see hundreds of unique sheet metal designs uploaded to our digital quoting platform. And some of these parts feature common design challenges that have impacts on the functionality and overall quality of the final part. Today, we're gonna to cover just a few of the advisories along with actionable tips on how to navigate them. We'll talk about the importance of NRADIUS tooling, discuss solving for short flanges, and learn how to tackle feature placement. Keeping these design solutions in mind can cut down on overall fabrication cost, accelerate your time to receive the parts, and ensure that your final fabricated parts meets the need of your project. What is a bend radius notice? Protolabs uses industry standard bend radius tooling that range from 10 thousandths of an inch to one inch. Leveraging commonly available tools helps us keep project costs low. Notification will be presented when your bend radius and your part design is different than our tooling options. The most common of which are 10 thousandths of an inch, 30 thousandths of an inch, 60 thousandths of an inch, 90 thousandths of an inch, and 120 thousandths of an inch. We will use the closest standard tooling option to what was analyzed in the original design to manufacture your part. Our process factors in material gains and ensures your overall geometry as well as the associated features that are positioned on your part will be as they are on the original design. What are some of the solutions to this advisory? Mating parts can present unique challenges, i.e. boxes built, a box build or a cover with a lid. Protolab frequently fabricates mating parts with dimensional and tolerance accuracy is required to achieve the desired part function. Contact an AE to discuss options. What is a short flange advisory? The part must be able to make three points of contact with a press brake, which is at the back gauge, bottom die, and punch, or top die, to achieve a bend. If a flange only makes two points of contact, there's not enough material to complete the bend and you will see a short flange advisory. There's a couple of different ways to work around this. You can accept the DFM, which means that the flange will be extended to the length shown in the advisory. Minimum flange lengths are typically between two and a half to four times the material thickness. And extending the flange will ensure that design makes three points of contact with the press brake. Your geometry will be slightly different than the original design as material will be added to the bend. However, this can, helps control part costs and makes the part manufacturable. You can also choose a smaller bend radius, which will reduce the amount of material in the flange. If the short flange is critical to design intent, we also offer post forming, which is available as an available service for most geometries, um, which means that after forming, the part is fixtured into a CNC mill where the material is removed along the flange to achieve the accepted flange length. The service, however, does come at an additional cost and lead time. Contact an applications engineer to have the service added to your quote. What is a feature that is too close to a bend advisory? Sheet metal fabrication is unique as in that all designs start as a flat sheet of material that is manipulated and stretched during manufacturing. If a feature like a slot, hole, tab, or notch is too close to proximity to where the bend will be placed, the act of bending actually stretches the material which results in pulling. There's a couple of different solutions to this advisory. You can accept the DFM, which is always the fastest solution, as well as the most cost effective. If the feature is critical to how your part functions, will allow the feature to deform. This option keeps fabrication costs low. You can also choose smaller bend radius tooling, which will remove the part away from the bend a little bit. You can also consider physically moving the feature away from the bend line in your model. At least two and a half to four times material thickness is recommended. This, however, depends a lot on material type and thickness. After doing this, you can re-upload the design. This option keeps the cost low. However, we understand that sometimes a feature needs to be in that position and moving it or letting it deform is not an option. If the feature location and function is critical to the intent of your design, you can drill it, you can drill the holes post-forming or machine them post-forming depending upon feature size as well as geometry. Similar to the short flanges though, this comes at an additional cost and lead time. It is available by contacting an applications engineer. Thank you for joining me today to learn more about these common sheet metal advisories to optimize your design for fabrication. Keeping these pro tips in mind can save you manufacturing dollars and streamline your project. 
Visit protolabs.com to learn more.